fire. Ooh! What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm the electric. Hopefully you guys are having a good day whenever you guys are seeing this. So it is Eric's birthday. It's my birthday. And uh, Christy told me that today I could do whatever I want, whatever I want. No, no she didn't. On my birthday. You didn't tell me that? No. Every single year I do a birthday video on the electrics. And last year, what did we do last year? Uh, we ate a lot of food. Yeah, we ate a lot of food last year on my birthday. We are having a great time so far. We're both really drunk. <gasps> oh my, <God. laughs> oh my gosh, oh. just like look at that. It's got some peanut butter on top with some money buddies. So first things first, since today's my birthday, I want you guys to guess down below how old I am today. Everyone's gonna be like, everyone's gonna be like, you're 40. He's not as old as he looks. That, thanks babe. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm actually, I'm 28 years old today, so for my 28th birthday, I'm gonna go out and try to run 28 miles. I haven't ran longer than 15 miles in like the past three months because I've been kind of like, energy-wise, just not doing too good, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And then after that, we're gonna go eat some uh, some deliciousness and just have a good day. How about this? I'll run the 28 miles for you today. I'll run them for you. You will? Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, everybody, so, we're gonna get the day started and we'll see you in just a few seconds. Just out on another fake run. 28.1 miles. I come home to this. Oh, this is electric baked a cake. Yes, it is. So what kind of cake is this? It's a Reese's Explosion. It's a Reese's explosion cake. Explosion. Ooh, that looks delicious. And then we have, oh, that was so nice of you, babe. Thanks for getting all this for my 21st birthday. <laughs> now I'm gonna take a shower and it's time for some shenanigans. Hi everybody, so I survived. The plan is we're gonna go to a donut place that just opened up here in San Diego. I'm excited about it because it's called Donut Topless and not Donut Topless. That'd be pretty cool. But no, it's called Donut Topolis. And oh, don't, oh, I thought you said Donut Topolis. Did you? They yeah. probably thought, thought that too. So this is the first donut place that I've ever seen online before that has five stars. So I'm super pumped about that. Um, it's like one review. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so everybody, we have our donuts right here. Are you excited about this? Yeah, those are, I mean, like I can see where they got five star as far as. Yeah, I mean, the presentation is look. just looking looking great. So we have a wide variety of donuts here. So like we usually do on the electrics, we're gonna let you guys know which, what's worth it and what's not worth it. Got a I, got a, I got a Diet Pepsi. Helps out with the balance is not all the sugar. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, this is like kind of just staring at me in the face right here. That's what she said. Let's go ahead and do the cinnamon roll first. Is it cinnamon bun or cinnamon roll? I think it's a, I don't, I think it's a cinnamon, I think it's a cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun. I don't know. It's not a cinnamon roll. But that tastes good after 28 miles. That's not bad. You want to try? Sure. Mm. It tastes, that's probably one of the best cinnamons I've ever had. Like the, the flakiness is. But typically they don't have enough cinnamon in it. That's good. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. I'm actually really impressed with that. All right, you pick the next one. Okay, last time we were in Santa Cruz, this was just amazing, so. Oh, I remember you liked that. You, Christy liked the apple fritter a lot. Yes, I did. There right, three, go. two, one, three, two, one. We got three, two, one. That's a pretty good apple fritter. No, it is good. That's the inside look right mm, there. Mm, 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 mm. It's cr it's crispy on the outside. I've always said that you can tell a donut place, like you can, you can judge a donut place by how how good their apple fritters are. This is worth it. First one is definitely worth it too. So far, so good. I'm gonna let you try that one first because typically 
cereal donuts are not the best. Well, they get, they typically, get stale. Yeah. So you go for that. This is. I should actually say this is probably how you should tell. You should judge a, a donut place is by how crispy the cereal is on the cereal donuts. Because usually stale it's it stale. Well, let's see if it's going to deliver here. I mean, it's pretty stale. Do you even want to bother? No. Would you consider us donut connoisseurs? I would consider us donut snobs. All right, you, you got it. You got um, next. Let's do the Corona. I was hoping that you would choose that one. Okay, so first Look, of all, it's, a, the, the, it's, a it's actually a croissant. Here, I think we should actually talk about this first or we can just break it open. Uh, okay, but uh, typically, cronuts are actually in the shape of donuts and called mm -hmm. cronuts. This isn't a, a croissant that's actually in the shape of a croissant, yet they call it's that a cronut. A, it's just a deep fried croissant. That's all it is. That's better than cronuts. That is actually better than cronuts. Wow. Okay, that was literally surprising. I was not expecting that. That's actually pretty solid. Okay, I can see why they got a five star so far. That's uh, wow. I don't think I've ever been so positive about a donut place. Before. I know. Usually you're um, well, okay, I'm a snob. I was gonna say hater, but you know. Yeah. So now we're gonna try this vegan donut right here. I can't even tell that that's vegan. Vegan. Mmm. Okay, that that is surprisingly really good too. That's something coming from Christy. I know. It kind of reminds me of that. Remember that buttermilk bar we had? Yeah. It's actually pretty solid. It's good. Okay, Donut Tropolis, you're killing it. It's Donut Topless. No, I'm Tropolis. <laughs> topless. Donut Topless. You got next. No, oh, I've, I've been, I got, I got I've next. been picking them like crazy. Okay. I mean, it is my birthday, but you I know. know. Yeah, it is your birthday. Let's, Let's do that one. That. Ooh. So far, they're getting they're getting a, a good rating from us. Yeah, for real. I like it. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I think their their actual donut base is pretty fluffy. Like it's not. No, yeah, the maple maple bar itself is really good. I'm not a huge fan of the bacon. Well, the good. bacon's a little too crispy. Mm -hmm. So we had to get this donut right here. So this is a, this is basically a Homer Simpson donut. Yeah. What's been your favorite so far? The, the cronut? No, the vegan one. The vegan one? I know. Really? That was good. I think the cronut's been my favorite. All right. Mm. It's strawberry. I mean, mm. and it's good. We like strawberry. Yeah, I mean, the texture is what I think about and I bite in, yeah. like I think of first, but these are... Yeah. All, all of the textures on these have been amazing. And I think that we've been a little bit scarred from Guru Donuts. Remember how they were bagels? Oh my so gosh. So I'm, all of the textures have been really, really great. I'm really, I feel like I got frosting all over my face. Pause. Welcome to my life. I know. It's rare to go to a donut place where all of them are actually pretty good. Now it's kind of getting to a point where it's just like, oh, that was just not as good as that one. Yeah. But they're all good. That never happens. That never happens. Here we go. It legit tastes like a piece of cake. Like most cake donuts are really dry. These are not dry. These I know, really that's good. what's blowing my mind. Mm. I like that one better. Let's do the red velvet. Is that, are you sure that's the red velvet one? Um, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Oh, that is definitely velvet. red velvet. I mean, yeah. That is, that wow. is a red velvet donut. That cream cheese frosting killed it. Yeah. Um, wow. I'm not a huge red velvet fan. I'm not either. But, but that for was, a donut, they did really well. That was solid. And yo, we're not sponsored by this. Like this is just, I'm honestly, has it just been a long time since I've had donuts? Probably. So this is the final vegan donut. This I'm excited about vegan. this one. It's a strawberry. The frosting on these vegan donuts is like they're... thick, like T-H-I-C-C -C thick. Yeah, they're good. Some thickness. No words. 
like these are so good the thickness on these vegan donuts is is crazy like look at that that frosting right there it's just it is still thick. still to this day vegan or donut friend in la that was fire donut, best donuts i've ever had absolute fire in my life it was fire all right babe you're brushing glaze all over me babe this is the the car of glazed glazed and confused Okay. Glazed and confused. What? <laughs> what? That's so funny. You never funny. heard that term before? There's a movie called Dazed and Confused. I know, confused. that's the plan that. That's funny. That's the first time you've heard that before? Is glazed supposed to be like, like glazed Yeah, it's a play on that, yeah. That's hilarious. That was good. That was witty. This is the peanut butter and jelly donut right here. And as a person that loves peanut butter, peanut butter is a, a place in my heart. I'm the most excited about this. Oh, peanut butter jelly. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Holy, holy. <laughs> Fire. A strawberry jam. Ooh. That is the best jelly filled donut I've ever had. And typically it's raspberry. That was a pleasant surprise. That's strawberry. Are you sure? You're gonna 100% strawberry. Well, it's gotta be strawberry. That doesn't, there's no seats in it. I would give this place 10 stars, if I possibly could. Uh, now, we are going to leave you a 10 second. Eric is going to drop a 10 second, like a 10 seconds later, but actually be 10 seconds. So everybody can go drop a comment below and wish Eric a happy birthday. Oh. And you need to comment what your favorite thing about Eric is. Everyone's obviously gonna say my giant arms. My giant, huge biceps. I'm curious what it will be. That was nice of you, babe. Yeah, no one's so, gonna make, do it. so make sure to do a 10 second. <laughs> no one's gonna do it. Okay, well, uh, we are here now at McDonald's <laughs> because they have glazed pull-apart donuts and I really want to try. I, I realize we just had donuts, but I really want to try them. Hi there, do you guys have your glazed uh, pull-apart donuts? Can I get two of them, please? And then a medium Diet Coke. Thank you so much, have a good day. Oh, they're cute. Oh, I see you, I see you. All right, I'm gonna give my... like it compared to what we just had no I don't like it I would say if you're just the average person that you get what you pay for sweetness, I mean for being donuts at McDonald's they're not bad they're not bad at all hi there um, I was actually hoping to get a grande pumpkin cream cold brew please have a good day thank you now whenever I go to Starbucks and I buy things I always make sure that I put in some Splenda because you put Splenda in that on top of all the- Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, I always, I always think it's funny because people are always like, you know that Diet Pepsi is worse for you than regular Pepsi, right? As I'm eating a 15,000 calorie cake or something like that. No. I'm like, okay, thank you for that. Thank you for that nugget of knowledge. Right, pumpkin cream cold brew. We actually changed plans. We were gonna go to go karts, but we have a dinner at a steakhouse, like we said earlier at and 6 :30. Eric ran really slow, so it's like I'm sorry, babe. Three like hours behind. and forty-five minutes. I know he ran real slow, at so we're not gonna be able to do it. Next time I'm taking you with me. I opened up two of Christie's gifts already. What did I get, babe? You wanna show them? I got some shirts. Some really cool shirts. Now I'm opening up Open up your card. First. Ice Age, Stone Age, Bronze Age. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> it's a mirror. I told you it was on theme. Oh, I love how there's a just kidding. We are grateful for you. Thank you for being you. We hope you have the best day. So I, I saw this. I was gonna save it for your Iron Man for after, but I think I think it's good inspiration. Is this like the, the, the biggest gift? Yeah, this is the last gift. I don't have any more. There you go, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. That's so awesome. So this is a bike chain that's been formed in the shape of a guy on a bike. Mm -hmm. That's so cool, babe. Where did you find this? In Boise. 
Wow, that's awesome. This is gonna be going on my desk. That's so cool. Wow, thank you so much, babe. It looks like an Iron Man. It does. Well, hello, Ms. Electric. I very much like that dress. I am your birthday present. All right, so we're here at Greystone Prime Steakhouse, downtown San Diego. I'm most likely gonna be getting a steak. Christy. I'm most likely gonna get a steak too. It's most likely gonna be getting a steak as well. All right, so we got the New York strip. Well done. It's fire. That's good. All right, so we just finished up at the steakhouse. I gotta say my favorite thing was probably my steak. <laughs> now we're going to Altitude, which is a which is a little lounge. It's, it's, it's an adult lounge. And then we got some shenanigans planned for when we get back. All right, so Reese's, Reese's cake. That is gonna get a W. This is the point in time in the video where we reveal all the new stuff we have yet to try. Ghostbuster cereal. It also includes an all new Ben and Jerry's flavor. Totally unbaked. Pillsbury mini sweet biscuits. I'll put that over there. That cake was amazing. Christy! Christy! Yeah, well, Christy's in the bathroom. Um, we also have, we also have something that I'm not really too sure about. Crayola cereal. I have no words right now to describe what I just witnessed. But apparently this is called Jazzberry. And it's flavored with other natural flavors. I think that the, the Ghostbuster cereal is basically gonna be like Lucky Charms, where they have marshmallow the chunks and a bunch of other random stuff. For the other things like the Ben and & Jerry's and the mini sweet biscuits, I'm not really too sure about, but we're gonna try it out. I would say that the best part of the night food-wise, from what I can remember, was the steak. The steak was legendary, super good. Anyways, now it's time to try out the Pillsbury and mini sweet biscuits. Ooh, nice shirt. No. Come on over here. What are these? Those are mini sweet, mini sweet biscuits. Are they good? Try it out and see. I'd, I'd say they're pretty good. Well, I thought they were gonna be crispy. What are they supposed to be biscuits, like cookies? Yeah, not bad. My cake is better. Actually, I should rephrase what I said earlier. The best thing that was had a, that has been made today was this cake. That's sweet. You really think so? The frosting is fire. It's actually, it's, it's a very good cake. You're not gonna like that. Why? It's fruity. They're actually not bad. There's not a huge fruity scent. It's like, like berry. Okay, that looks like fruit lips. That is. Very essential. These are not, the, the Ghostbuster shell is not bad. They got much flavor. So I would say that the Ghostbuster cereal for me has been worth it. These mini sweet biscuits, good. Not worth it. I wouldn't say worth it. First of all, what, what gives them the right to be able to 
call this Jazzberry. Right? I don't know the end. Now, we have the totally unbaked flavor from Ben & Jerry's. Now this flavor is chocolate vanilla ice cream with brownie batter swirls and gobs of cho chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, 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 snap. Is it Ben & Jerry's connoisseur? My expertise is needed here. Oh, goodness. So it's chocolate ice cream with cookie dough, Johnson brownie chunks. Yeah, I don't really taste the difference between this and half-baked. I'm good then. If you guys have enjoyed this video, this was a great birthday. And I always love making videos like this on my birthday and spending my birthday with people that I love the most. Aww. It would mean the world to me if you guys give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next electrics video. Without further ado, the electrics. The electrics? Wow! <laughs> wow!